Hello guys, I am Shahzad and welcome to lecture number 12. Today we are going to discuss about the pad padding and also the margin. How can you uh, use the padding or margin or, or how can you add the padding or margin in your row, column or any element. So before doing this, I am going to create a new page so you can work on that. I am saying it's a padding and margin. Now publish this page. And open as a front end editor. So, this is the front end editor. You can also work by using the back end editor. Now, you know very well that you have to define your row before adding any column. So, this is a one column. Now, click on this one. This one, I need this layout that means six column, six, six column for a particular row. So, these are the two columns. Now, I'm saying uh, I need to define the click on the design options just click on the background color I'm saying I'm going to use the red color so this is a red color now I need to define the text copy this text now fine so clone this one this element drag this element from the left column to the right column okay fine now you have two elements in both column left and right now if you click on this row row uh, that means uh, I'm editing the row now the, click on the design options you have margin sections you have padding sections and you also have the bar border sections it's a top right left and bottom I'm going to use the 20 from the top sorry 50 from the top 50 50 50 50 that means I'm going to use the 50 50 top right bottom and left so this is a margin I'm going to use the margin click on this one and close this so as, as you can see I have just used the margin okay now the margin I'm using in the row click on this one now you don't need to use the pixel because visually composer automatically add the px for you okay now I'm saying now I need the padding just click on this one I'm saying 20 from the top right bottom left for the entire row so as you can see this is the entire row you are adding the padding in the entire row but you can also use the designs let's suppose now just click on the column so this is the left column just click on the edit column so design options you have same margin padding you can also define your paddings or margin for the separate columns let's suppose if you need the margin and the padding for the left column you just, you just need to define that padding or margin here so i'm saying uh, 50 from the top right bottom and the left click on this one this one so you can see now you are using the 50 padding for the left column okay now here you can also use the padding margin for your element just click on the edit element you have the design options and you also have the margin padding let's suppose you are you want to use the padding for this element which is a text element now design options i'm saying 20 20 uh, 20 and now 20 you don't need to use the px now so as you can see you have just used the padding for your element so it's totally dependent upon you i personally recommend that you have to define a particular class or the id and you have to call that class or id uh, by going or by adding just let me open this i'm saying composer now i'm going to remove all the padding margin we are using the padding margin here we are also going to remove the padding here okay fine what happens now just click on the customize section so you can easily uh, add the css coding here now just click 
let's suppose you want to add the padding in the row just click on the row edit the row now you have to define the class or id you can also define the id here you can also define the class i'm going to use the class i'm saying my class just copy this class save this element now i'm saying find this class and add the padding now 100 pixels that means i'm saying padding from the top right bottom and also the left publish this one so now if you open the page localhost and now i'm saying it's a composer i think it's a padding and margin page okay this is the same page now as you can see you have just used the padding by using the css customize this page click on this one so now as you can see if you use the 50 50 so now as you can see you are using the 50 if you use the 20 padding for your row you can also use the 20 padding for your row why we are defining the class or id in the element and you are calling the class or id here in the css sections because what happens uh, if you open this one in a mobile device let's suppose you have you use the padding so this is the inline styling you are using so this is a padding you are saying 50 50 50 50 you are using the 50 padding in the row so you are using the 50 save this one and now open okay now fine remove this one publish press the page now you are using the 50 padding right click spec element now as you can see you have the padding here okay this is the padding and you are using the padding here it's a padding top padding right padding bottom padding left okay so if you define the class and you call that class here you can also use the padding like this padding 40 pixel space 40 pixel 40 pixel and also the 40 pixel it's only totally depend upon you this theme is using the just a second this team adding your css key and pair value in the styling but mostly teams use the internal sorry inline styling for a particular row or for a particular column so that's why we uh, we have to define the class or id from the front end side and we have to call that class or id on the customized css sections so i hope you are enjoying this series if you think we are doing good feel free to share our courses and also the videos so thank you for watching